Hey, it's SJ. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Sarah Jane and I bring you guys with me on a debt-free journey to pay off $20,000 of debt. So it's been six months since I've started doing side hustle work. Um, what I have found when I first started my debt-free journey that having side hustles really expedites the debt payoff process. Um, and so since I started my debt-free journey in March and started doing side hustles at that time, I have found that it has been quite a bit of a source of extra income. So I thought it'd be really interesting at the six month mark that I've been doing this to reflect back and conduct an analysis on how much I brought in total from side hustles and then which side hustles are giving me the most bang for my buck. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe so you can be part and stay tuned of my debt free journey. Just to share with you guys my methodology behind the side hustle income, I try my best to live off the profits from my nine to five job and my side hustle money for the most part goes to paying off debt. Every once in a while, I use my side hustle income to fund going on a smaller trip or, yeah, that's literally it, just going on smaller trips. <laughs> but for the most part, most of this goes towards paying off my debt. So starting with March, which, which I started halfway through the month of March, doing side hustle work, so it was my lowest month. I had made $188. In April, I made $366. In May, I made $478. June, I made $464. July, I made 553 and August was my highest month yet at $849. Now all of this is cumulative of multiple income streams, which we're gonna break down here in a minute. But in total from my side hustles, if you combined all of this, I have made $2,899. Now once again, a small portion of this has gone to fund a trip that I took to Miami, a girl's trip then the rest of it has gone towards my debt payoff. That's in total, but let's break down the numbers and see which side hustle is really raking in the money the most. So outside of my nine to five, I have five additional sources of income from side hustles. So my five side hustles I have is Rover, photography, YouTube, credit card cash back, and selling things, so selling things within my home, at Play-Dohs or at Facebook Marketplace. Um, so we're gonna go through those. I don't normally show you guys Excel sheets, but I thought that this video would kind of be helpful. Um, normally in my YouTube videos, I take the data from my Excel sheets and I put those in um, a graph format, which is what I show you guys because I'm more of a visual person myself. But this video, I thought the actual um, Excel sheet was fitting. I'm not gonna go month by month because I think that might be a bit tedious, but in total from Rover, I have brought home across the six months, $1,420, which is crazy because like when I initially told my family that I was gonna start taking care of dogs over the weekend and things like that. I think they kind of thought I was a little bit crazy, but I was like, nah, not really. Um, I had heard from a friend who she does Rover that it can be a pretty solid side extra hustle money. So yeah, total over the last six months, I brought home 1,420 from Rover. Rover is good because Rover is decent pay and it's consistent. Depending on the profile that you make, you can determine how much you want to charge. Also based off of if you benchmark people around you, what other people are charging, it, it's very decent. And if you can get a consistent client, very consistent as well. What happened to me, I have someone who always needs assistance with her pup and I'm always able to help her. So that's how I've been able to consistently bring in decent money from Rover. Next is photography. Photography is has brought in, in total, $1,114. Um, photography is high paying, but it's not consistent, which is the issue for me. I think if I did actually put more effort into marketing on social media with my photography and networking, I could really increase that. But at this point, I'm not 
really interested and in exerting the additional effort that that would require, mostly because I'm in school right now and a lot of my extra effort outside of YouTube is going to schoolwork and that is the priority for me. But I think maybe one of these days I will put in more effort into photography and see that number go up. In the last six months from YouTube, I brought home a $212.81. Um, so this is kind of interesting because I think there is such a misconception that YouTubers bring home lots of money and they do. There are so many YouTubers that bring home lots and lots and lots of money. I am not one of those YouTubers and I just think it's always interesting. I remember commenting on someone's video not too long ago. They were kind of bringing down this other YouTuber because of how much money she makes. It was Asia Dang. Someone was bringing down Asia Dang and I responded to them saying like, hey, you know, I don't know why you're kind of being so hard on her. Like she's really earned this. And the person responded back how as a blanket statement, YouTubers just make so much money and it's a hard industry to break into. And I just kind of thought that was really interesting. I was like, yeah, I like I make decent, I make, I make okay money from YouTube, but I don't make a ton of money. It's definitely not my main side hustle income source. And so, yeah, like there are some YouTubers that make a lot of money. I am not one of them. I genuinely make these videos because I enjoy them. I would, I do hope that like one day my AdSense does go up, but for now it is at 212. Next is credit card cash back. Over the last six months, I have made $100 from that, which isn't bad as long as you pay off your credit card. Um, last but certainly not least is selling items around the home. I've sold at Play-Dohs, Facebook Marketplace, all those sort of things. I definitely tried harder on this back um, when I first started. I have moved quite a few times in the last couple years and with each move I've gotten rid of things. So for the most part, the things that I have right now, I don't particularly care to get rid of. Um, so it's not really the best thing for me at the moment is to like be selling my things. So anyway, that comes in last. For me, the logistics is just not worth it. Um, but if we go by percentage breakdown and think about which side hustle is bringing in the most for me, at the forefront, ironically, is Rover bringing in 49% of side hustle income, then is photography at 38%, YouTube brings in 7%, credit card cash back brings in 3%, and selling slash miscellaneous is at 2%. If someone didn't know my finance, like my finances and was to take a guess at which side hustle brings in the most, I feel like most people would say either photography or YouTube, but ironically it is Rover. Rover has just brought in so much for me, um, which is crazy because it is so simple and it's something that I just really enjoy because I love dogs. So that's kind of my six month analysis on my side hustle income and where I'm getting the most bang for my buck. Um, if you are interested in paying off your debt and expediting that process, I cannot recommend enough getting a side hustle. It truly has changed my ability to be able to pay off my debt at a faster rate. For which side hustles, I think it depends on who you are and what your interests are um, and what you want to spend your time doing. I do have to recommend that if you go into the side hustle world, you really pick a side hustle that you enjoy that's gonna be profitable to you. Um, for me, like I said, I love dogs, so signing up for Rover wasn't a big deal, but let's say you don't like dogs, Rover might not be the platform for you. But there are so many other side hustle options. You could do DoorDash, Uber, like the options are endless. Yeah, just make sure that whatever extra time you have in your day, if you're putting it towards a side hustle, that you do one that you like. But anyway, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it interesting, if not informational, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and comment below what side hustles that you have been doing on your debt-free journey or just enjoy doing in general. I would really love to have the comment section be a place that people can look at to get ideas and who knows, maybe I'll put in an extra side hustle for myself. We never know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want to know me on a more personal level. And that's it. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.